here's what you need to know to start your day. We have new details this morning on that shooting that happened early this morning in Reading. Police say that two victims had apparently arranged to buy weed from the suspect when a man who was with the suspect pointed out that he had a handgun and he tried to rob the victims and then the suspect fired at the victims. Reading police are still searching for those suspects. Police have arrested a Reading man they say robbed the home of a 79-year-old woman. She called 911 to report that a man had broken into her home Sunday and stolen several items from her and took off in her car. This all happened in the middle of the night. Authorities found that man in the car a short time later. He faces a host of felony charges. And a wanted violent felon is waking up behind bars this morning. The Shasta County Sheriff's Office arrested Thomas Crossland of Reading. Investigators say they began looking for Crossland after he did show up to court to face felony charges, including violence. Investigators say they found him hiding out in a home in Millville Sunday, and they captured him with the help of K-9 Thor. Two people have been killed in a crash in Reading. The CHP says it happened sometime Sunday morning at Highway 44 and I-5. Two people were not wearing their seat belts and thrown from the car. A passerby saw that crash and called 911. Happening today, there will be a turkey box giveaway outside the El Medio Fire Department. The event is sponsored by the Oroville Rescue Mission that starts at 8 a.m. this morning. And this weekend, people took part in Feed the Need. Chico State students with CAVE spent part of the day outside Safeway on East Avenue, handing out flyers and helping to collect donations for the Hungry Wildcat Food Pantry. If you'd like to help, you can donate at Chico Safeways throughout Christmas. And coming up later this week, right here on Action News Now, I'll have more on how our local college campuses are addressing the issue of food insecurity. Cal Fire has filed a million dollar lawsuit against California burger chain In-N-Out. The agency claims In-N-Out is responsible for starting a 250 acre wildfire in San Luis Obispo County back in 2017. In the lawsuit, Cal Fire claims an improperly maintained tractor moving dry grass and brush out or on the property of In-N-Out sparked the flames. Cal Fire is seeking roughly $1.2 million from in and out to recoup costs associated with fighting that fire. The Secretary of Defense has requested the resignation of the Secretary of the Navy, Richard Spencer. The move in the aftermath of the President's order to promote Navy SEAL Eddie Gallagher. A jury acquitted him on charges of murdering an Islamic captive and posing with the corpse. Spencer has publicly opposed Gallagher's reinstatement and promotion. Democrats may call more witnesses in the impeachment investigation, and a lawyer from an associate of Rudy Giuliani says California Republican Devin Nunes met with Ukraine's former top prosecutor about investigating Joe Biden and his son. The committee still must draw up a timeline for impeachment, and that would only happen if the Judiciary Committee decides there is enough evidence to recommend impeachment.